Hey everyone, Noah Bombastia here. Next in our list at number 34 is the Boston Airport. There's a spoiler warning for this video because the Boston Airport is heavily connected to the Brotherhood of Steel. So the Boston Airport ranks 19 in terms of area and it has a height limit of 6 floors. Upon first coming across the settlement, you guys may notice right away that you don't have access to it, and that's because you need to complete quests with the Brotherhood of Steel. Once you come across Molecular Level, then you can finally gain access to the settlement. So when you first gain access to it, you'll notice right away you can only build the Slocum's Droves. You have a very limited selection of things you can build here, just like the Mechanist Layer. So you have to send settlers from other settlements because you don't have a radio beacon. You can at least build water pumps and whatnot. And you have a little bit of dirt and some junk mounds around that you can build stuff on top of. Those two doors on the side there, I wish they opened. Uh, they would lead into the room where they are building uh, parts that go to Liberty Prime. But I don't think there's any way to ever open those doors. At least I've never seen a way to. Don't forget to build stairs up here, guys. When you build stairs up here, it allows you to gain access to the Brotherhood of Steel side of the airport directly. So you don't have to walk around. Sometimes people forget that. This upper layer doesn't really give you much room to build though. You pretty much have this little lip and then you can't go beyond that for your settlement. So you'll see settlers come up here and use these chairs, but not too much else. There's the Brotherhood of Steel over there. Liberty Prime is not built yet. What's nice about Boston Airport is when you first gain access to it, you can scrap all this stuff in here. Nothing really becomes an obstacle. Yeah. You get a lot of cloth, steel, and wood when you scrap everything in here. And then there's the Slocum's Joe over there. Having at least one shop is a big deal because you can generate caps and it generates happiness too. Next, we're going to talk about some of the problems that you might run into when you're building the parts for molecular level. So a lot of people don't realize that when you are trying to snap these pieces together from molecular level, that you are not going to be able to do this when you're on the carpets. So you need to scrap those carpets in order to solve this problem. Sometimes holding that little piece and spinning it will automatically trigger the quest to complete, which is bizarre, I don't know why it does that. And then sometimes people run into issues after you've put the pieces together because Elder Maxim won't respond for some reason. You just have to restart the quest after that. Next, let's talk about what happens when you attack Settlers or the Brotherhood of Steel. So when you attack Settlers, it appears that the Brotherhood of Steel will come and defend you, blaming the Settlers, even though you attack them. And if you attack the Brotherhood of Steel, the Settlers will then come to your rescue and defend you, which is very interesting. So in these cases, the Brotherhood of Steel and the Settlers are very separate entities. When you bring Paladin Dance to the Boston Airport, the Settlers will also take your side and his side, and the Brotherhood of Steel will attack you and Paladin Dance. Next, if you use Liberty Prime to destroy the Institute, and then you destroy the Pridwin afterwards, Liberty Prime will remain at the Boston Airport after the Brotherhood of Steel have been defeated. This means that Liberty Prime will constantly attack you and your Settlers while within the vicinity. So you might want to use alternative methods to end the game if you plan on using Boston Airport after the story is over. Another thing to note about the Settlers guys is that when Elder Maxon gives you access to the Boston Airport for the first time, you can gain access to the workshop and send Settlers here from other settlements, but the Settlers won't arrive I've noticed until you talk to Proctor Ingram. So once you do that, then the Settlers will finally arrive at the settlement. This pretty much concludes my video for today guys. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.